Good morning, brothers and sisters. Kindly kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were, before even time began. You are Son with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you created man, became man yourself. Through God and the Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You come to our word to save us and to show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love here after. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, we may likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them, most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this tribe stream at the diocesan shine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday of the 24th week in the ordinary time. The church celebrates today the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. Our mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Ponsalan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. Yesterday, September 14, the Church celebrated the Feast of the Exaltation or the Triumph of the Cross. Today, September 15, we commemorate the Seven Sorrows of the Blessed Mother. Today is the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, Ina ng Dalamhati. In Cebuano, we call her Inahan Sakasakit. As we commemorate the dolors or the sorrows of Mary today, let us pray for our own mothers because they have their own share of sorrows. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, His mother should stand close by and share His suffering. Grant that your Church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in His resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain, for I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that Christ died for our sins, that He was buried, that He was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, that He appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. After that, He appeared to more than five hundred brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me, for I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and His grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. You are my God, and I give thanks to you. O oh my God, I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. We honor the Holy Gospel.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Is standing by the cross of Jesus where his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took Mary into his home. My dear friends, this is the gospel and the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, September 14, we mark the feast of the exaltation or the triumph of the cross. Yesterday, our prayer was, We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Today, we see the Blessed Mother at the foot of the same cross. Today, we commemorate and we honor the woman who stood at the foot of the cross, the Blessed Virgin Mary, in her title as Our Lady of Sorrows, Mater Dolorosa, Istabat Mater, Inahan sa Kasakit, or Ina ng Dalamhati. She is also called Ina ng Pighati, Ina ng Lumbay, Ina ng lungkot, ina ng hapis, ina ng panaghoy, ina ng tangis, ina ng dusa, at ina ng kasawiang palad. Pope Pius VII introduced the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows in 1817 as a fitting reminder of the Blessed Mother's participation in the sacrifice of Jesus in Calvary. The Vatican II Missal says that on the day following the ancient feast of the Holy Cross, we commemorate the compassion of Mary. We meditate on the reactions in the soul of a mother concerning the sufferings and death of Jesus, her son. Simeon predicted that the heart of Mary would be transfixed with sorrows. And so it was, as Mary stood under the foot of the cross of Christ. The Gospel reading narrates that near to the cross of Jesus stood His mother. Some people, unfortunately, stand far away from the cross there are also people who run away from the cross. Some people ask other people to carry their cross. But the mother of Jesus stood courageously at the foot of the cross. She was so close to the cross and she even identified herself with the Lord of the cross. Mary's faith is significant inasmuch as she has shown from the first moment of the angel Gabriel's announcement that she would be the mother of God until the death of Jesus. She remained faithful to her son from her first yes until the final amen, your will be done. The faith of Mary in God was unshakable in the midst of those agonizing moments. It is a faith that is persistent in spite of darkness. It is a faith that is so strong even through bewilderment and even at times through agony and perplexity. My dear brothers and sisters, the Blessed Mother 
chose to suffer in silence. She suffered in silence. She accepted the cross of her son with faith and humility. She did not lose her self-respect in spite of her personal agony. She did not lose hope in the resurrection in the midst of the horrible experience of Calvary. She accepted the will of God humbly. She opted to pray and live and surrender everything to God. My dear brothers and sisters, the memorial of the sorrowful mother is for us a source of encouragement, a source of perseverance in our faith in spite of our daily crosses and it is a fitting reminder that the tree of defeat has become the tree of victory. Some of our donors, some of our benefactors are carrying their own personal crosses. I encourage you, dear donors and benefactors and friends of the seminary, persevere in our faith in spite of the cross. If there had been no cross, Christ would not have been crucified. If there had been no cross, life would not have been nailed to a tree. If there had been no cross, our salvation would not have happened. Mary stood steadfastly at the foot of the cross. The cross is not a sign of defeat. The cross is a sign of triumph. The resurrection is the fruit of the cross. How many sorrows did Mary have? She had seven sorrows. Very quickly, by the 14th century, the faithful identified the seven sorrows of Mary, namely, number one, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. Number two, the flight to Egypt. Number three, the loss of Jesus in Jerusalem. Number four, the meeting of Mary and Jesus on the way to Calvary. Number five, the crucifixion of Jesus. Number six, the taking down of Jesus' body from the cross. And finally, number seven, the burial of Jesus. But even if she has seven sorrows, she has also seven joys. Seven sorrows, seven joys. What are the joys of Mary? Number one, the Annunciation. Number two, the visitation. Number three, the birth of Jesus. Number four, the adoration of the Magi. Number five, the finding of Jesus in the temple. Number six, the appearance of the risen Christ to his mother. And number seven, the assumption and the coronation of Mary as queen and lady of heaven and earth. Yes, there are sorrows, but there are also joys. Amen. Together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to God for those who have heavy crosses to bear, as we say, keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary, we pray. 
Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord, that we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them. We pray. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord, that through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works. We pray. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord, that in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life. We pray. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord, that those who suffer through sickness may find in Mary a true refuge and consolation. We pray. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. Let us also pray for the sick members of our community and those who are suffering, asking for the gift of healing like the following. Timothy John Senisa Garcia, Andre Enciso, Isaiah Baliklik, Silvia Pinpin Colminar, Sherry Tuvilla, Rosa Cua, Violeta Davis, Nelly Feliciano, Antonio Arpileda, Melani Franco, Vilma Centeno, Cory Gauchi, Gabriel de la Cruz, Rochelle Tarayao, Rolando de Jesus Jr., Yolanda Lara, Priscilla Perfecto, let us pray to the Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. God of all grace, your plan for the world surpasses all our expectations. Keep us trusting in the power of your saving love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady of Sorrows, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name as we remember the memory of Mary, our Lady of Sorrows. 
for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation, and may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, he gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in my memory. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Darlene Madlambayan, Mariel Luis Gonzalez, Benita Marasigan Siscar, Purin Picardal Madeja, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who were united with your Son in a death like His, may also be one with Him in His resurrection. And remember too, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and Our Lady of Sorrows, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles and the Saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for all mothers who are carrying some sorrows in their life now as we pray the Our Father together. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver Amen. us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear, as we wait in joy and in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and consolation of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Simeon predicted, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and you yourself will be pierced with a sword. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady of Sorrows, suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the sake of the Church what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Store our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant internal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimets. Be seated for a minute, please. Maraming salamat po. Good morning to everybody, especially to our uh, virtual mass attendees, the friends and the, the, the donors and the benefactors of our seminary. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga ipinadalang tulong para sa ating mga seminaristang nag-aaral dito sa Christ the King. In particular, I'd like to mention the names. Uh, some of the names do not want to be mentioned. But those who prefer to be mentioned, I can mention, like Claudette Sim, Teresa Untog, Arturo Sanhil, Marites Mendoza, Ruth Rivera, Arsenio Co, Eliza Antonio, Imelda Mayo, Anastasia Carluen, Serena Santos, Josefina Angat, Michelle Apostol, as well as Jasmine Duque, Myla Arce, Attorney Raul Vasquez, Doctors Vic and Eli Amorin, Evangeline Lasala, Reni Cahol, Nelia Cueto. Thank you so very much in the name of the Administration of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Nais din po namin pasalamatan ang mga nagpadala ng tulong sa ating seminarista na nawala ng kapatid ng bahay at ng dalawang pinsan. Bibilisan ko lamang po. Maraming maraming salamat na i-deliver ko na yung inyong ipinabibigay. Yung iba, hindi ko pa na ibibigay. Pero ibibigay ko. Rio and Tin Hiron, Ernie and Gurley Chavez, Helen Lacerna, Lou Rivera, Karen Molina, Marisa Loren, Teresa Ontog, Dr. Erdsan and Christine Suero, Golda Meir Maling, Rafaela Sherry Domingo, Diva Rubis, Marita Trinidad, Constance Padua, Maria Lucita Alonso, Virginia Co, Maria Rachel Garcia, Dailinda Ganutisi, 
Janet Salvador, Fe Harido, Marites Mendoza, Carla Santillan, Josephine Yu, Maria Cristina Chianco, Evelyn Buco, Hasmin Duque, Maristela Fandino, and Rizel Salveron. In the name of the family of the seminarian, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong napakahalagang tulong. At this point, I'd like also to continue to appeal for, for help for our seminarians. And we are showing to you on your screen the details by which you can send your, your donation to us at Christ the King. Uh, in front of you is the bank account details of, or for the seminarians with Banco de Oro. The account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Again, Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number is also posted in front of you, 000-2201-91247. Pakipicturan po ninyo o screenshot para po hindi ninyo makalimutan o kumuha ng papel at lapis at isulat. BDO 000-2201-91247. And we also have two GCash numbers. Pakipicture ninyo or screenshot para hindi mawala. 0967-318-9830. Again, 0967-318-9830. And 0945-743-0935. Again, 0945-743-0935. We are also indicating in the poster our email address in case you want to communicate with me personally the email address is ckms donor care kabit kabit po yan all lowercase lahat maliit na titik ckms donor care at gmail.com maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong nitong mga nakaraang araw at sa mga darating pang panahon god bless all of you let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.